Check the description box below in your YouTube player for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about the sound tools I'm using today, and links to other goodies via my Patreon page. Continuing. All right, so we're coming in, you know, the progression is going to be A minor, E minor, F, and then a C, and then a C walks down to A minor. And so I'm just coming in with just a lone, lonesome. Two two, no, that's E E. That's second fret there on my D string. Very gentle vibrato. Up to five. That's our G. Yeah, I keep you know on this 50 style strat. I have the vibrato at the end of its line so that I can really just touch it barely and get just a little bit. I don't really. I know strat tremolos are tricky. You know, yeah, they're tricky. The temptation is to push on it really hard, but I get, I get them, it's floating ever so slightly. So it's a really just the weight of my fingers. I can just, I can, I can do that. Here comes that F, caged. So here's an F chord, eight, seven, five. So I'm going a little Hendrixy hammer on from on that D string, five to seven. It's so pretty sounding with this, uh, what is this, the Catalan bred Topanga spring reverb pedal. Did I mention about the slowing down things to help learn? Down here there's a gear. Let's slow it down to three quarter speed. Or on an iPad or something like that, it's up there. Arrows go forward and back, space bar pause. It's a very useful way to like work through guitar lessons. So there we go, yeah, hammer it on. And then like, I want to like keep it smooth, so I actually let it fall all the way back to like my pinky to an open C, but it ends up being like a weird version of it because of that. So, you know, just three open on that G, hammer onto that one. And then you're gonna do the walk down. <laughs> so that's yeah. Two, three, open, two, three, oh. And now I'm on A minor, so I'm just letting them hang. And then here comes a G going down to an F, so three on, there's my G note, my open uh, D string there. I'm being, you know, there's some muting going on because when you have this much reverb drenched on the guitar. And then, yeah, there's like a, you know, the, there's a walk down from F, E to the D. I guess you'd call it a D minor. Yeah, there's, a, there's no third, so you could call it whatever you want. And a little cadence there. So getting unison five and zero. 
three seven five three o oh, o, oh. and I might hit some extra A notes, and then I just do the melody up an octave higher. Yep, that's just five five up there on that that B string in E. That's just a tiny little E minor chord. Zero to three. Open B, second fret there, and that's an E note, yeah. This is my favorite lick in the whole thing. Good job, Eric. Um, because, yeah, that time when Bob sings it, he did, Can you tell me where she's hiding? He does a slightly different vocal thing, so I cop it. And that's, you know, seven down to, you know, up one fret down to five, and then here comes, what is that? Because that's on an A minor. That's an F. Big stretch there. <laughs> yeah, so you got an eight, eight on that B, five there on that G. And yeah, I let it slide forward. This, this dude here, five to seven, because here's a C chord right there. Hendrix. So that's, yeah, to me, I'm like, I see this chord here, which is, yeah, eight, seven hammers onto nine. That, that sweet lick again. Beautiful. And then there's our walk down that time. So I'm doing this, this version of C. Five, uh, sorry, 305, hybrid picked. It's like Blackbird in reverse. There's a G over B that time. Two and three, pop that high E. Here comes an A minor. And there's A minor, I got the, that first fret, the C note, down to that A note there, the second fret. And then here comes a G. Here's a G bar chord, so I'm just getting five, four, three. Get that open E. Slide it back to F. Beautiful. Walk it down. That three's that that three, which is an F, down to E. Pop that that one again, that C. Open D, and then here's the cadence this time. So yeah. Three, 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 one, open. Three, one, two, two. There's an A chord now. Then I take a very laid back solo. Because there's a bridge in the song. So I'm soloing over the bridge this time. So it's a C, an E minor, an F, and then an A minor again. So I'm going C. So just three, uh, kind of a cross-picking thing. One, oh, oh, two. Now I keep that finger down to slide up to another pretty uh, thing of C that I know to do. So five, five, three, five, open, which is based off of that structure. And I'm like, ooh, 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 I can keep it connected. Where's E minor? Because here's an E minor here, so I still have these two together. Yeah, so I got a eight, nine, nine, ten, nine, nine, seven, and I get, get that open B in there. Hey, that's allowed an E chord. And then, what am I on? An A minor, so I'm like, I know that that C there is part of it. So that's like an, uh, or is that an F lick? Oh yeah, sorry, that's F, which makes sense, yeah, because there's F, so yeah, there's a C. I think that's right. That's right, yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, I do do a full bend, so it's 13, 12 up, 
down. Ten. There's the A minor. There's our A minor arpeggio. So nine. Ten. Slide back. Because there's an A minor chord. Yep, it's all cage structures for me. It seems to work really well. One day maybe I'll find a new way to play. Probably not. Um, then where'd I go? And oh, then I've done this before too. I love these little things. So now, now we're back around to another C. So I'm thinking of... So that's, yeah, uh, 12 and 13. Sliding back to 10 and 10. Yeah, and so it's like, there's a C. Sliding around. Yeah, sorry. Five, or sorry, eights. Fives. Still on a C. So I'm still, there's our C. Nine, eight, open. Get to that 12 there, that B note, because that's part of an E minor. And then I'm, I'm, I don't know why. Then I go way down there. So then I got an F. That's just an F arpeggio. Huh. How uncreative. Uh, five, three, three. And then I've done this a million times too, using open strings to get a C major type run, or in this case, a minor type run. Seven, open B. Five on the uh, G there. Three, five, open, open there. Yeah, those are, I love those things. There you go. I've been doing a few of these arrangements lately where I'm leaving a lot of space and using a lot of reverb. Sure sounds nice and um, I don't know, it's just I, I, I don't know, I used to put a lot of fills and a lot of little connectors and things like that in my arrangements. I might go back to that just right now. I guess I'm feeling like a, eh, let's not work so hard. <laughs> let's just, uh, let's just make it pretty. We don't need to play a lot of notes. Sure sounds nice, but not a lot of notes. Um, in general, Bob Dylan Street Legal, underappreciated record. I like that record a lot. And so when I do stuff like this, it's a little bit of me being like, anybody else out there? Anybody else out there like this record as much as I do? Anybody else out there who plays guitar? <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, with all things musical, take your time, make sure that you can really hear every note as you're playing it. Don't rush through things and kind of fumble them. Uh, I guess that's another reason I purposely leave these things empty, is to really encourage, like, there's that phrase, and there's that phrase this one and so on and so forth so that you can make it nice and good. I used to work um, back when I was 19 or something uh, with a bunch of Polish house painters in New Jersey. Nice guys. And I worked for this one guy, Casey, who was my mentor. And he was like the Mr. Miyagi of house painting, but he was Polish. And he used to always say, Eric, you have to do it nice and good. Still remember it to this day. That guy, he was the cleanest painter he had, he never got paint on him, on his brushes. The paint only went on the wall. I hope he's still out there. He's like, a, he's like an artist with that stuff. Anyway, uh, good luck with that. Thanks for watching.